To the Supreme Court now, where justices today heard arguments over the constitutionality of gay marriage, and the ruling could have implications for businesses large and small. Hampton Pearson reports. Demonstrators for and against gay marriage outside the Supreme Court reflected the divisions and caution among the nine justices being asked to decide whether to require all 50 states to recognize same-sex unions or let the states decide. Justice Anthony Kennedy, a likely swing vote, took the lead in voicing apprehension about redefining marriage. This definition has been with us for millennia. And it, it, it's very difficult for the court to say, oh, well, we, 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 know, we know better. A fundamental core of the institution is the opposite sex relationship. Same-sex marriages are legal in 36 states and the District of Columbia. Today's case involved 16 same-sex couples from four states where their marriages are illegal. And we don't feel like we should have to leave our state just so that we can get the same treatment that other couples get in other parts of the country. Um, we took this case on um, uh, for protection of our children. And uh, we stand before you one step closer to being a legalized, recognized family in the state of Michigan. There are an estimated 350,000 married same-sex couples nationwide, according to a population expert at UCLA. Several companies, large and small, have already implemented benefit plans for same-sex couples. The question remains, how many more businesses will have to follow suit if the court rules in favor of gay marriages? So far, the biggest economic headache has been, you guessed it, taxes. Federal tax policy is uniform after the court's ruling two years ago. The challenge now is what to do at the state level. The uncertainty is uh, where it's still disputed. And in a state like Alabama, where the federal courts are saying one thing and the state courts are saying another, um, it, it's tough for us to see taxpayers and, and, and citizens put in that kind of situation. Based on today's arguments, it looks like the justices plan to set a very high legal bar before possibly saying yes to the notion of same-sex marriage as a constitutional right. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Hampton Pearson at the Supreme Court.